All right, so bar exam 2022, question number two. This talks about psychological incapacity, which is a favorite uh, question. Psychological incapacity. Yeah, Sana ba yun? Okay. So, yeah, gawin natin dito. So, in 2015, okay, Ranza and Junsi got married. So, 2015, so ito si Ranza, ang babae. Ito si Junsi. So, they got married and were blessed with two children, Zara and Mika. Lagyan na lang natin maliit na girls, Zara and Mika. So, ito yung timeline. Nung 2020, COVID came and the entire family had to spend their time 24 hours together sa bahay nila. 2020 to. Maliit na bahay. Okay. Na-observe ni Ranza na si Junsi continued to work from home to support the family. No? So, although, so dito, si Junsi work from home. But then, he, be, he began to exhibit paranoia. I-gawin natin tong pula. Kasi this speaks about... Uh, This speaks about uh, Junsi, no? Okay. So, Junsi, paranoia. So, ano yung signs? He always made sure that they wash their hands. Wash hands. Rub alcohol, no? Lahat sila, pinaparab niya ng alcohol. Paranoid. Ten times before eating. So, 10 times talaga, no? So, okay lang sana once, pero pag 10 times, sobra na yun. No? Junsi always wore a face mask, face shield, hazmat, and all the... Hazmat, no? Imagine that. So, so except when he was alone in the room. So, kahit kasama niya yung family niya, praning na praning siya. Except, kung siya lang. He also began sleeping separately. So, hindi niya na... You know, hindi niya na sinasamahan yung asawa niya. And of course, uh, he believed that lahat ng gustong mag-meet sa kanya, gusto siyang i-expose sa virus. Exposure. So, napaparanoid na siya. So, nung early 2022, anong nangyari? Two years, nag, uh, nag-suffer. Kung baga si Ranza, na hindi na siya sinasamahan ng kanyang... Uh, beloved na si Junsi for five years pa naman silang kasal no so what what did Ranza the wife did she filed for a declaration a petition okay petition for the declaration of nullity of marriage so gawin na lang nating acronym para ma-master natin petition for declaration of nullity of marriage ano yung ground okay So, gawa tayo ng pillars. The ground is So, the ground is psychological incapacity under Article 36. Article 36 of the Family Code. What this? What did she cite? The atypical behavior of Junsi. She presented the testimony of the doctor. So, lagay natin ng blue kasi ground ito ni Ranza. So, she alleged that these actions ni Junsi constitute paranoia. 
or I mean psychological incapacity. Plus, she also cited okay, doctor's, uh, doctor's testimony, expert testimony, under evidence, this is a uh, expert opinion, no? So, ang sabi ng doktor, he is suffering from psycholo- uh, psy- uh, psychotic paranoia due to intense stress. So, naniniwala siya kahit hindi naman totoo. No? Lahat ng mga to, sobra-sobra na. Naniniwala siya na i-expose siya ng mga tao sa virus kahit uh, mere friends lang naman or family na gusto lang siyang ikamustahin. So, ang tanong ngayon, lagyan natin ng ng green, no? Ang petition ba ni Ranza ng wife mag-grant ba based on psychological incapacity? Meaning, are these all constitutive of psychological, psychological incapacity? So, let's define psychological in- incapacity based on Tan Andal versus Andal case. So, doon sa case na yon, the Supreme Court said first, that psychological incapacity is a legal concept. No? So, Tan Andal, this is an important case because this has always been cited. No? Tan Andal versus Andal, it's a legal concept and not merely a medical concept. Ibig sabihin, the mere diagnosis of the doctor is not sufficient. So, dito, meron nga siyang diagnosis, but this is not, should not serve as the primary basis to declare a person as psychologically incapacitated. Kasi nga, it's not, the, the controlling is not the diagnosis or the opinion of the, of the, of the medical field, but it's a legal concept. Okay? So, that's the first um element of a psychology, psychological incapacity. Number two, it must render a person incapable of complying his essential marital obligations. Okay. Keyword dito is incapable. So yes, hindi na niya tinatabihan yung kanyang asawa. That's a fact. No? But meron pang isang fact. Dito sa number one. He what? He still works from home. He still provides for his family. Which is a an essential marital obligation. Hindi lang yung pagtabi sa asawa niya. No? Okay. And number three. Number three factor is that uh, the the psychological incapacity condition or this condition must be an enduring aspect of a person's personality. And it must be enduring aspect of a person's personality. So, ang tanong, enduring ba ito? We go here. no? We go sa date. It only started in 2022 when it was stress-induced. His behavior is only stress-induced. Plus, this was backed up, supported by the diagnosis of the doctor. So, yung elements of psychological, psychological incapacity laid down in Tan Andal versus Andal was not sufficiently met. Therefore, the petition of the wife 
uh, Ranza should not be granted. Okay? So, dapat hindi ito should not be granted. 